Welcome to Inside San Diego, where we take a personal look at the hottest trends under the sun. On today's show, we'll have the most San Diego has to offer in love, life, fashion, fitness, food, and all-around entertainment. Live from the studios at KUSI News, Inside San Diego. Also today, another way to save your skin from ultraviolet rays, UV protectant clothing. Does it really work? We'll find out from an expert. All that and much more coming your way on this 4th of July. When we come back on Inside San Diego, we all know that we need to protect our skin from the sun. Well, one way to do it is with UV protectant clothing. This morning, Dr. Kian Somini, a plastic surgeon, is here to tell us the science behind it. Well, we all know we need to protect our skin any way we can from the sun's damaging rays. Sunscreen clothing is one way, but does it really work? Dr. Kayan Samimi, a board-certified plastic surgeon here in San Diego, is with me this morning to explain the science behind it. And happy 4th of July. Thank you, Sandra. Happy 4th of July to yeah. you, too. Well, um, I think this is a fitting time to talk about sun protective clothing. Beginning of the summer, 4th of July, everybody's spending their time outdoor and certainly here in Southern California and San Diego we get our fair share of sunshine. Um, we and I'm glad that you have brought this up because it gives us a chance to talk about different ways to prevent damage from sun right. exposure. We all know about sunscreen, we know that we're supposed to wear our sunglasses to protect our eyes but uh, sunscreen in clothing is a relatively new concept and uh, this, there's one company, it's called Lion in the Sun, as in the animal lion, that has all kinds of products here that they sent to us recently. And we wondered, do they really work? Is it really a good idea to have a, a sunscreen in your clothing? It's a great idea, in mm -hmm. fact. Um, sunblock is the first, stay, first um, means of preventing sun damage. But sunblock and sunscreen have very unique limitations. First of all, they only last for a couple of hours, mm -hmm. have to be reapplied, and they're not most of them get washed off in the water. Sun protective clothing actually can permanently block uh, sun. And it used to be custom to put on a white t-shirt on the beach and try to prevent sun exposure in that way. Reality though is that clothing especially white clothing, offers very little protection. Well, let's look at some of the clothing that we have here. These are uh, just uh, for a boy and, and a girl. They're uh, just kind of this sort of a lycra textured, uh, cute little outfits that they wear, and they just put them on and wear them all day. Will this protect you from the sun for the whole day? Absolutely it will. These are rated by something called UPF, uh, mm -hmm. ultraviolet protection factor, and these are rated at 50 mm -hmm. and greater. Uh, that means that only 1 50th of the sun rays or 2% of the sun rays will actually hit your skin. So that is one of the most efficient means of um, preventing sun damage. Um, but of course, again, they do not protect the face, the hands, and exposed parts of the body, so we'll still have to rely on other means to um, achieve that protection. Right. Now, say you do uh, pick up some sun protective clothing for your kids to wear. Should you put sunscreen on underneath the clothing? Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Again, it depends on the UPF rating, mm -hmm. and it depends also on whether this clothing will be, get wet. And with time, they do stretch and lose some of their protection. So generally, it's a good idea to apply a generous amount, which means about an ounce of sunblock prior to exposing yourself and certainly prior to uh, wearing these garments. Mm -hmm. And I also noticed reading some of these labels here that you have to just rinse them and don't use heavy detergents because I guess that will kind of wash out some of the protection that they that they have. Yeah, they rely on several things. One is the bright colors. Bright mm -hmm. colors reflect sun and work much better than white. Mm -hmm. The other is they do contain chemicals or uh, ingredients that reflect sun uh, and for that reason work. So Let's talk about sunscreen. You brought a couple of samples here. Um, these are some of the uh, newer sunscreens. Uh, what is the latest in sunscreen? The latest in sunscreen is actually two products. One is available now in the United States. Mm -hmm. It's made by Neutrogena. It's called Helio uh, uh, Plex. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, the big difference to other sunscreens is both they offer both UVA and UVB protection, but they last longer. All of these sunscreens we've had up to date only provide about two hours of UVA protection. The newer ones, um, one, the um, Helioplex, and then L'Oreal is coming out with a product that has been available in Europe. It's uh, Miroxyl. Uh, it's not FDA approved yet. Do provide up to four hours of um, sun protection. Mm -hmm. The other two products I have here are one is these Naya line of skincare products. This is a really medical skincare product. Mm -hmm. It contains a molecule called proniacin, which actually reverses the damage 
done by sun to um, cells uh, and can help repair sun damage. And the other one I just brought in because this is, has an SPF of 65, mm -hmm. it's called a total block. Um, this is a very efficient way of uh, preventing um, sun exposure. Um, the SPF is only half the story, though. If you only apply half of the amount recommended, it will only give you half of that SPF protection. So be generous when you apply your Absolutely. sunscreen. And of course, uh, try to stay out of the sun, too, right? As much as possible <laughs> as, as you can in San Diego. But <laughs> Tough today. It's beautiful outside and sunny and warm. Thank you for coming in and talking to us on a holiday. Thank you for having me, Sandra, and right. have a nice... Uh, Fourth of July. Thanks. You too, Doctor. Thank you. All right. We'll have all the information on the KUSI website.